Welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some of my top tips for Guild Wars. So let's get into it with uh, what you should do before Guild Wars starts. You need to sort out your loadouts really. I like to use three loadouts. One for PvE, uh, one for your PvP stuff and one for your defense build. Now for the PvE one, I've got uh, some warriors. I've got the Valiant Gauntlet which speeds up warriors and I've got Hero Charm so I can just go in there, press RO and deal with the nuts quickly. That's what that's for. And then for the PvP one, I've got, I like to use Alder, so I've got the Mage Side build equipped with Critter, Valiant, Gauntlet and the Hammer. And then uh, that shield icon there, that tells you which one is equipped for your PvP defense. Now that's the one that people are going to be fighting when you're defending a node. I'd love to tell you what the unstoppable defense is, but the truth is there ain't one. Because uh, everyone uses varied builds for PvP. As I've explained to you before, not one build is fits everything. So you, while you can defend against a critter build with a million armor or whatever, then someone can come along with Lance and Devalin and just one shot your health with that build. There's not one build that fits all, so there isn't an unstoppable defense build. But don't make it easy for them. Equip your best stuff and set that up as your defense. Now getting into the actual Guild War, when it starts, watch the chat and as soon as it says Guild War has started, the icon will disappear, see it's disappeared for me. Close the game, open it again, and then the war will start. I see people coming on social media, coming in Discord, going on Facebook, and complaining and saying, where's the war? The icon's disappeared, what's happening? If you want to get in quick, uh, that's what you need to do. So on the reward track, there is eight drop of patience now if you're a newer player those eight drop of patience is going to take you eight weeks to get so i would recommend if your guild is good enough to finish the pass i would recommend getting this if you're a newer player for the older players there's uh there's a bunch of extra orders on there i think there's about 200 lumber on there so it is helpful this is what the gauntlet looks like if you just do decide to get it and now into the war the first thing you need to do is your team needs to rush towards the shard nodes. If you want to get some purple dust from the guild war, you need to be rushing towards the shard nodes and defend those as soon as you get them. So as you can see now, my team are fighting uh, their way through the map and we were actually the first ones in. Everyone else was probably complaining on Discord that the guild war disappeared. So look, the other guilds are starting to come to life now. So we were fighting towards the shard nodes. There's four shard nodes this time around. So straight away we grabbed two of them and defended them. Then we managed to get a good amount of dust out of both of them before we lost one as well. Because we did this, because we were quick. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a good amount of defenders on both of them, which is what you want ideally. You want to fortify it up a bit and uh, get a good amount of defenders on both of them. Or the one that you've got if you've only got one. And then moving on from the initial rush. Uh, you can turn that daft colour grid off. I don't like it. Um, but if you do turn it off, you'll start to see the nodes. They're a lot more identifiable. Uh, because if you look at the temple node, that's a temple node. It's got a little temple next to it. You can see it easily. Uh, the order nodes have got little towns attached to them and each of the important nodes, the ones that you need to be worrying about uh, you can identify them quite easily by the stuff that they've got on them you'll see in this uh, map uh, there's one of each in every corner um, and at reset you're going to be going for order nodes, you want the extra orders try and prevent the enemy guilds from getting all the extra orders because if they get them then they can overrun you quite easily and uh, it's not a great place to be in if you don't get any extra orders so yeah getting extra orders is quite a big priority for your end of day resets uh, all the rewards on the nodes are generated at daily reset which is quite bad for some time zones um, but if you've got an international guild you've got people all over the world then you're going to be in a, you're going to be better off because you can have people playing through the night and then when daily reset comes you can have a reset team as well to try and take as much ground as possible 
quick tip about these nodes as well they are easily identifiable because they always have plus three fortification on and you get double glory for taking these so you get 300 rather than 150 glory for taking these we like to call them ping pongs in my guild because essentially what you want to do is play ping pong with one of the enemy guilds if you can and that'll help you get glory points and finish the pass quicker moving on uh, here's a little tactic we were defending this dust node and we were under attack by this guild they had uh, nodes all around us so i quickly equipped my pve set and then i cleared out all three nodes around to cut off their access and give us more chance to redefend it this is a powerful tool you can use uh, but cleverer guilds will leave one at the side so they can get their access back but this guild didn't they just took all three so when i took all three back i was able to cut their access quite easily and then now if you look there's only me and uh, one of my other players in there now they've got us both contested so if they win those fights we won't be able to defend it we'll get red xed but if they lose which he just did, uh, we'll be able to redefend. Yeah, so now we're just waiting for that guy to finish the fight that he's in, and then we'll all be able to jump back in and redefend it. And he lost as well, so the fortification went down, but the node is still ours, and we've cut all their access off so they can't get back in. Another one I see people being confused about as well is when the dust is ready. Now, if you look, I've just collected 300 dust from the right hand side dust node, and you can see the timer there. But then on the second one, they're in a the timer. So if you quit out and go back to the campfire and then open the map again, then it should be there. All you need to do is force it to refresh, really, and then you'll be able to collect your dust. That's how that works. And your timer will reappear as well another powerful tactic you can have is when you contest you see a timer on the top left it says 29 minutes there that means i have got i've got half an hour on that order to complete that node i don't have to complete that node straight away so if i i can back out and it'll say continue and i can do whatever i want in the game i can uh, go play the rift or whatever i like go make a cup of coffee and come back and as long as i beat that node within the 30 minutes then I will maintain access to that and you'll see coming into a reset you see a load of swords rubbing against each other all over the map that's what people are doing they've pressed content and they've gone for a coffee now in this clip we're a lot closer to the first reset now you see it says next day in 33 minutes and you can see the swords rubbing against each other all over the map because people are contending this and contending that um, and at reset you see all these uh, rewards that say control as soon as the reset ticks over, if you own that node, you will get those in your daily rewards for the guild, the entire guild. Uh, so this guy, he defended this node. So I quickly equipped my PvP set and uh, took him out. But if you take out the last defender of an enemy node, they will get a red X on their screen. They won't be able to re-defend it. So you'll see sometimes you'll be a defender and they'll hop straight back in. If it's the last one, they get a red X. And I'll close this video one last tip. When you get the daily rewards in your email inbox, uh, there will be orders in there. You don't have to claim them. You can leave them in there. You can stack up six of them daily rewards. As long as you claim them before the end of the war, they belong to you. So only claim them when you need those orders. I have been James B09. Good luck out there.